I was born with, my aortic valve is supposed to have three leaflets and I only had two. So it never closed all the way, it never opened all the way. And because I wasn't getting enough blood flow through my body, um, the aorta was starting to thicken in the walls of the heart. I remember I was taking a cardio kickboxing class and I didn't pass out, but um, I lost my vision. And thank goodness we had a ballet bar in the back and I just kind of followed it and walked out and took a deep breath. And about that time I went and visited um, one of my doctor friends. She just did a good all over check. And she listened to my heart and barely heard anything. And then we found out that I was diagnosed with aortic stenosis and regurgitation. She uh, automatically sent me to Dr. Andrew Comparis with St. Vincent Heart Clinic, Arkansas, and he has been nothing but wonderful through the whole process. When I first met him, I was, of course, let's do this, take care of it now, and his goal was to wait two to five years to have surgery. Went to school and we were doing fitness testing, so I was doing push-ups and sit-ups and all sorts of stuff with my students at 10 o'clock that day, it just felt like somebody took a 10 pound brick and dropped it on my chest. And by lunchtime I sat down and my teacher friends looked at me and they were like, Catherine, you do not look like you feel good. And I just started crying. I was like, my heart hurts. So we called and Dr. Kapiris was wonderful to work me in that afternoon and he said, it's time. He was very nice, he gave me options as far as um, surgeons, but um, it was no question about it. I went with Frederick Matters with St. Vincent. I think St. Vincent is really beginning to distance itself from the field in terms of what's available here. We're standing in the, in the first cardiovascular hybrid operating suite in the state of Arkansas, and it's just a, a real exciting place to be able to deliver care uh, to patients that need it. My time here at St. Vincent, um, I don't even know how to put it in words sometimes. There were nurses that would take extra shifts just to come and keep an eye on me. And I'll admit, I was 23 years old when I had surgery, and they, they let my mom stay with me the whole time. It was the hardest thing I've ever had to go through, but one of the biggest blessings in my life of getting to go through such a wonderful experience with great people, a great facility, and great doctors and nurses that will take care of you as more than just a number and a patient. I was a person. Everyone knew me by name and they were always there checking on me. The development of a center where we can provide state-of-the-art care for our patients in Arkansas so that they don't have to leave the state, so that they're not going to Cleveland Clinic or the Mayo Clinic or to Texas for, for the same care that can be provided here Everything that's new in medicine is expensive and uh, support for these new technologies is uh, critical and we depend on uh, benefactors to help the, make the new technology happen. I really do feel like I have a second chance at life. Thank you to Dr. Comparis Matters and the whole facility here at St. Vincent. So thank you and keep doing so. I really appreciate it. Your gifts make it possible to establish centers of excellence within the Heart Institute, dedicated to improving medical care with less invasive procedures and improving outcomes for our heart patients. We can meet the needs of our state with your help. Thank you.